Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see today I created a super cute like olive green shimmer look today. I'm absolutely loving this look. Um, and just to show you what I used to create it, I am now going through some YouTuber collabs which is something I have been meaning to do for the longest and I told y'all in my live last Sunday that I picked up several collabs I got a vote. This was the first collab that was voted to post. So we have got the Soph X Makeup Revolution palette. This is by the YouTuber Soph Does Nails. She is super amazing. Absolutely love her. I'll link her YouTube down there. She is, I believe, from like the UK maybe. Um, so she is, you know, she's not a US YouTuber, which is totally cool. Like I love her accent and I love her videos. <laughs> So yeah, I will link her down there. Definitely go check her out. So we've got the palette. It's super sturdy and it has a huge mirror and y'all guessed it, all kinds of gorgeous colors. We have got a perfect arrangement of mattes and shimmers and just like almost every color you could want to play with. She even included, and I'm going to point them out more later, she included these three colors and this one here. You can even do your eyebrows with if you're into doing your brows with powder. That is a super cool versatile thing. You can even use the browns for a contour if you use a smaller contour brush that you can get down in there. So props to her because this is a very versatile palette. Very colorful. Absolutely love it. And it's only like $15 because we all know Makeup Revolution is super affordable. And the quality is usually pretty spot on. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in. I'm going to show you all how to create this look. And then I will give you some final thoughts. So here we go, you guys. Okay, so first I'm going to go into this color right here. This is called Pug. And she actually recommended that this could even be used to fill in your eyebrows. But y'all know I can't fill in my eyebrows right now. So we're not using it for that, but we're going to use it for a transition shade. Okay, so that took a lot of digging to get that color out. <clears throat> but we're just going to move on. And next, I'm going to go into... Uh... Danger. We're going to try this one first right here and just try to do the same thing with it. Ooh, and y'all, this fallout though. Yeah, tapping that one off. Okay, so to deepen up my outer corner, I'm going to go into Rosewood right here <clears throat> and just focus that in the outer corner. This is also one she said can be used for the brows if you have hair as dark as mine. Okay, and since I'm feeling an olive vibe, I'm going to take Pine Tree right here and apply that to my lid using my finger. Feels pretty good, pretty pigmented if it would focus. I think it's cool. Okay, so for our inner corner pop, we're going to take pink champagne right here. Is that right? Yeah, this one right here. And we're just going to put this in the inner corner and see what kind of pop we can get from this. Okay, and then to tie it all together, we're going to take Danger and pop that in the lower lash line. Okay. 
Okay, so now's the time where I sneak away from you guys and finish up all of this real quick. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and got off camera and I finished up this look. Just added some lashes and liner. And I also added some Controversy by Crate Finds. Y'all know this is my perfect red. I adore it. And it is so transfer proof. But while I'm gushing, on to this palette. <clears throat> okay, so it's very versatile. It's definitely got a ton of colors. Um, I could see myself reaching for it. However, and here's the big however. I have all the respect in the world for Makeup Revolution. They make adorable, beautiful things affordable for people who can't afford the high end like me I mean I'll admit to that too so uh I love that but I am gonna say the quality on this is not quite on par with some of the higher end things you know if you reach for your chocolate gold or you know even like your Jaclyn Hill palette you get a lot more pigment payoff out of your transition shades out of your shimmers it's still a super solid palette like it's beautiful Soph did an amazing job with this I am not hating at all because when it comes down to it with collabs you're taking that brand's formula 90% of the time so that's not on her this color selection is the bomb absolutely love it I really enjoyed this palette and I do like the look that I ended up with it's really pretty it just took a little extra work where those transition colors were the shimmers needed to be built up a little more there's nothing wrong with that but that is my critique of the palette I wish the formula was just a little bit more pigmented just so that it wouldn't take especially on the shimmers so that it wouldn't take two or three layers to really get that full opaque feeling and I mean it's still really pretty um, <clears throat> I mean just a couple of swatches just so you can kind of see here is the blue purple and gold on my finger and then when I swatch them on my hand I mean they look really nice there's nothing wrong with them they're pretty pretty colors <clears throat> they're just a little bit chunky and it takes a little more time to get those colors to build up on your eyes and like I said it's perfectly fine that happens just a thing but yeah I mean those are the colors that is this palette I think it is super super gorgeous and I'm really glad I bought it I mean for $15 this really is a steal like that's super affordable the quality is definitely on par to the price point so no bad things as far as that goes I would recommend this if you have like 20 bucks and you really want a pet makeup palette you can play with colors do some neutrals pretty shimmers this is a great one to get I mean you get 24 colors for $15 that's crazy and it's super sturdy you know all the stuff I told you at the beginning good palette super excited I got it and I'm super glad that again my crepe fine squad voted for me to do this video because I really wanted to play in this and had they not told me to do it I probably would have ended up putting this off like another week or two so I am glad I got to play with it I'm glad I got to do some green eyes and yeah so that is it for today's video I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you in a couple of days and maybe in a live tomorrow comment down there if you want me to go live tomorrow <laughs> but uh yeah bye you guys